Hey guys, Jared the Collector here with a brand new trailer review. I saw the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, and I'm going to share my thoughts. Just before, though, any new Spider-Man fans coming into the franchise, anybody remember these? Any of you? Any of you young youngsters remember these films? These were good. Except for the third one. These were good. And then, uh, another recommendation in terms of small, or really arachnid, or bug-based superheroes. Watch this. Watch Ant-Man. Really, watch it. It's good. So, let's get on to the trailer reaction of Spider-Man Homecoming. I am really excited for this film because I didn't really like Spider-Man's character that much during the battle scenes of Civil War. Uh, with this, though, uh, we're not... It seems like we're going a bit more with a serious and John Hughes tone of film. I wanted to see that so bad from a Spider-Man film. For most of these movies, we just saw a very comic-accurate film, but unfortunately, I didn't get to see enough of a really high school-based Spider-Man film. With the Amazing Spider-Man films, we didn't get too accurate of a movie. We saw a film trying to be like an actual serious film. But in, in the new Spider-Man film we're getting, Spider-Man Homecoming, it seems like we're getting a mix of this really fun comic book uh, sort of vibe along with a John Hughes feel and a dark tone. All stuff that needs to be mixed together to make the perfect Spider-Man film, which seems like what we're going to get with this new movie. With this new film, Spider-Man Homecoming seems like the best choice to have before, uh, you know, Infinity War comes out, or even Thor Ragnarok. We're setting up Avengers Infinity War, which will most likely be our biggest film, but with Spider-Man Homecoming, we're seeing another nicely condensed storyline that won't seem like the end of the world. But it's another one of those stories where we get to see a growing character, which, like I said, in Civil War, he wasn't too amazing of a character that I wanted to see. So with this film, we will most likely be seeing a more developed Spider-Man constantly going through his normal day life and seeing more of what makes him so much like Spider-Man. This, uh, listen man, I I'm being very, very very, uh, very light-hearted for this film, giving it, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, uh, really over-hyping it, I think, but if I am, you know, whatever. Um, I really enjoyed the trailer. It's one of those trailers where you're finally going to see not an end-of-the-world story. We're seeing a smaller-toned film, which is what we've seen with Ant-Man previously. So, I think... You know, considering they're going to have Iron Man in the film. We've seen Iron Man in the trailers. I want to see another Avenger in there. I want to see Ant-Man. I want to see Ant-Man. Let me see Ant-Man. I want Ant-Man. So, uh, let's talk about the Vulture. If you didn't know already, I was a huge fan of the Michael Keaton Batman film. Uh, this was a great movie, uh, but not as good as the Dark Knight trilogy, in my opinion. Um, and he... Michael Keaton even did a really good performance in the movie Birdman. So if we're going to mix those two roles together into one, it seems like a brilliant choice. The Vulture seems like my... would probably be my favorite character. My, probably favorite villain, because this is Michael Keaton we're talking about. They're, they're showing more interest in the villains now. Because uh, in past Marvel films, we haven't really that had that many compelling villains uh, except, in my opinion, uh, the amazing Age of Ultron. Um, we haven't seen too many compelling villains. But with this film, uh, considering this is Michael Keaton, we might actually get a very good villain for a movie. Yes, Doctor Strange's villain was good for a Marvel movie villain, but I want to see more darkness put into them. I want to see a villain that was raised underneath the knowing of evil instead of not instead of an accident making them evil i want to see someone born into evil n embracing their evil side i i want to see that from a spider-man villain and that seems to be what i hope they're doing with the vulture 
someone who's been born into evil, knowing evil and living evil. It's what I want to see so badly out of a Marvel villain. So, uh, that's my thoughts on the villain, the Vulture. Overall, I'm excited for the Vulture. And finally, uh, Zendaya. We need more Zendaya. Come on. And a bit more Hot Aunt May. Uh, I didn't feel too fine with the saying Hot Aunt May, because, well, old woman in this. I want. I wanted to see more hotter Aunt May. I'm single, so and this seems like our chance to finally get a hot, stylish Aunt May. I'm seeing like a pervert right now. God, get with me. Uh, but overall, I'm extremely excited for this movie. This seems to be the film, the kind of Marvel movie that I would enjoy. Uh, I want to see more backstory put into his parents' death, but not too much of a focus like they did with Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, which I think was a huge letdown. Uh, I I sort of enjoyed uh, Andrew Garfield, but I prefer 99 Homes. Andrew Garfield was getting really good recently. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my review of the Spider-Man Homecoming, Homecoming trailer. I'm very excited for this film, as you could tell. This is I I'm, I might really enjoy this movie. So yeah. Like if you enjoyed the video that much, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment if you want to call me an asshole. I have an Instagram now, Rand.Jared, check that one out. And uh, this is Jared the Collector telling you, always trust your instincts, because sometimes movies can cheat you.